Hi everybody, Devin here, creator of Beta Health Channel, where health and fitness matters. Do you want to build some muscles? Well muscles are the most adaptable tissues in your body. When you do extreme exercise, like weightlifting, your muscle fibers undergo trauma, or what's called muscle injury. When your muscles are injured this way, satellite cells on the outside of the muscle fibers become activated. They attempt to repair the damage by joining together and, as a result, increase the muscle fiber. Hormones actually help your muscles grow too. They control the satellite cells and are responsible for things like, sending the cells to your muscles after exercise, forming new blood capillaries, repairing muscle cells, managing muscle mass. For example, resistance moves help your body release, growth hormone from your pituitary gland. How much is released, depends on the intensity of the exercise you've done. Growth hormone triggers your metabolism, and helps turn amino acids into protein to bulk up your muscles. The top 5 exercises for packing on the muscles like crazy is a matter of opinion. Here are my top 5 in no particular order. Do these at least twice a week and you will see the difference. So don't go anywhere. Sit back, relax and enjoy. Squats. There's a reason this exercise is the king. It not only incorporates the entire lower body, but causes the body to respond by naturally releasing a burst of anabolic hormones. Squats are physically demanding, and will stimulate the muscle recruitment, and appetite you need to grow. With all of their benefits, squats can place harsh compression and stress on the spine and joints, unless performed properly. Always warm up with a weight you are comfortable with, and always have a spotter with you when possible. To properly perform a squat, Keep your legs about shoulder width apart, and keep your eyes pointing straight ahead. Flex and tighten your abs and glutes throughout the movement. Bring your glutes down as close as possible to your ankles. You should never reach a dead stop, as soon as you approach the bottom of the movement. You should be squeezing your glutes, and using them to help power yourself back up for the next rep. Squat down until your shins are touching the barbell. Keeping your hips in a natural position, and eyes looking forward, Focus on driving your heels and exploding upward as you stand up with the bar. Keep your back straight, you don't want to allow it to round. Once the bar gets just about the knee, concentrate on pushing your hips forward, and contracting the back to pull your shoulder blades back. Pause here, slowly lower the weight and repeat the movement. How to do it? Place feet a little wider than shoulder width apart, hips stacked over knees, knees over ankles. Roll the shoulders back and down away from the ears. Not allowing the back to round. Extend the arms out straight so they are parallel with the ground, palms facing down, like your hands are on someone's shoulders at a 7th grade dance. Or, if it's more comfortable, hold the elbows close to the body, palms facing each other and thumbs pointing up. Initiate movement by inhaling into the belly, and unlocking the hips, slightly bringing them back. Keep sending hips backward as the knees begin to bend. While the butt starts to stick out, make sure the chest and shoulders stay upright, and the back stay straight. Keep the head facing forward with eyes straight ahead for a neutral spine.
Are you enjoying the video so far? Well, like, comment, share with family and friends, and subscribe for more great videos. What's more, I have highly rated exercise equipment in the description and comments section. They will certainly help you to pack on the muscles like crazy. So check them out for yourself. Without further ado, we continue. Deadlifts. The steely sinews of the back can be especially resilient to training and growth. It is much more common for forearms to fatigue and give out before the back does. The first recommendation is to get a decent set of lifting wraps to ensure full back exhaustion. One of the more powerful exercises for stimulating growth hormone release, the deadlift can also be dangerous unless proper form is followed. After loading a comfortable weight on the bar, keep your feet about shoulder width apart with toes pointing forward. Deadlifts, the perfect exercise to strengthen your back, hamstrings and glutes, yet the perfect exercise to screw up your back. The deadlift is a bend pattern, something we all do every day of our lives when we pick up a box, groceries from the trunk, or lift a child. It's a movement you do multiple times throughout the day. Since you perform this bending movement many times, performing a deadlift should be easy, right, wrong. Unfortunately, many of people do deadlifts with straight legs, which can cause major back injury. How to do it? To avoid injury be sure to bend your knees about 30 degrees. Bend down slowly towards your feet. Move back to standing position. Make sure your knees are still. Do not squeeze your shoulder blades together until the end of the movement. Make sure your back is straight and not rounded at the thoracic spine or upper part of the back. You should have a curvature at the lower part of your back as well and not flat. Your head should also be in alignment with your spine. Bench Press The classic barbell bench press is like the squat for the chest. This is hands down the best mass building exercise for the chest. The most common mistake people make when performing a chest press is flaring out their elbows. Your elbow should only go about 45 degrees out from the body during the movement. Keeping the elbows in this position not only reduces the risk of rotator cuff injuries, but spares the shoulders from taking over the movement. Concentrate on squeezing the chest to explode the weight up. Quick tip. For maximum stimulation of the chest, position your torso on the bench with a slight arch in the lower back, the rib cage held high, and the shoulders shrugged back and downward. Mistakes to avoid. 1. Locking your elbows. When completing the upward motion, do not lock your elbows because this can cause hyperextension of the elbow joint. 2. Moving your feet. When performing the bench press motion, keep the feet firmly planted on the ground to aid in support and stability. 3. Holding your breath. Neither breathing, nor having constant air exchange, can create intra-abdominal pressure which can lead to vomiting or passing out. 
4. Lack of planning. It is important to go into this exercise knowing how many repetitions need to be completed and how much weight should be on the bar. Sometimes the weight is added incorrectly and can create an imbalance on one side. 5. Selecting a spot. Do not just pick any person you see in the gym, but make sure you choose a person that can lift the weight in case the bar slips or something more serious happens. Military Press If you want to build cannonball delts, the military press is your best friend. It hits all three shoulders heads, the anterior, medial and rear deltoids. Always warm up the rotator cuff before any shoulder exercises. The rotator cuff stabilizes the shoulder, and is responsible for some of the most common gym injuries. After warming up, take a grip a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. Don't flare your elbows and keep your forearms in a straight line as the bar rises over your head. Tighten your core as you press. Lower the bar down to just past the nose and drive up, keeping the bar as close to your body as possible, making the shoulders do the work. Weighted Dips Many people say you should do curls for the girls, but if you truly want to have sleeve busting arms, you cannot neglect weighted triceps dips. The tricep muscles makes up two-thirds of the arm, and is one of the quickest ways to achieve bigger arms. The key to this exercise is keeping the elbows in towards the body, and not letting them flare out. This keeps the tension on the triceps. Look just above eye level to prevent the chest from taking over the movement. Selecting an appropriate weight allows you to maintain good form, and keep stress off the lower back. Keep your core engaged and abs tightened through the movement. We have come to the end. Thank you for watching. But before you go, remember to subscribe to watch more great videos. Also, check out the products in the description to try them for yourself. I hope you will.